Hello everybody, this is Debo with Debo Swim Reviews, and I'm going to review Training Day. Starring Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke, featuring Ava Mendez, Basic Gray, Sky Glenn, Harris Eulin, and Tom, Dr. Dre and Tom Berenger. Overall, I gotta say that's a the Training Day is one ep excellent film over the breakout of the 21st century. I mean, Denzel was perfect for for Detective Alonzo Harris, and Ethan Hawke was actually perfect for for Jake Hoyt. Although personally, personally, until like between like except for like Daybreakers and Magnificent Seven. I was never really big on Ethan Hawke, but this is pretty and pretty much one of his one of his better films. And you know, for a while, I almost considered it his only good film for one point. And got to give it a, give it an excellent direction of Antoine Fuqua and and the writing of David Ayer. Those two could, could make films. And of course, of course, with excellent side char character with Snoop Dogg as Blue, the the former the drug dealer. And I gotta say, I have, for this for this hood story from the cops' point of view, you I gotta say it's an epic masterpiece because. Which, of course, and you gotta you gotta admit how how the character development was between 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 Jake Hoyt, the honest honest good guy cop, who I almost would say was the Ina Straight of L.A. compared to the Denzel's Alonzo Harris, who was pretty much the the you can almost say it was like the Roscoe Coltrane of of LA, or should I just say, make him the anti Andy for when it comes to dirty cops? He gets, he's definitely the anti Andy. And, and from him being the crooked superior, and of course, how, how, between how, from like the beginning of the, and the end of how, how. Uh, Hoyt wanted to be move up, but realized realized it was too crooked and man. And talking about some crooked cops in that film, film not only was it just Denzel, but well, everybody else in the L.A. Narco Squad, and of course with those other guys that Harris Eulin's character was. Then live in that di that diner, man. And of course that side deal with the old Russians, which of course at the end was I was talking about a dirty cop getting his come up, but <clears throat> yeah, and, a, and of course with yeah for. For a film that's that's epic on on that, but supposed to be violent, but got a low body count of just two people and just the guy, just Scott Glenn's character and Denzel, of course, being the only two that die in the film. And and a little talk about the real about the day in the life of how they of how. Hoyt and Harris just patrolling the mean streets of L.A. and they just go from busting busting the college student with a in a Volkswagen Beetle to the to the stop to the to stopping that the rape of the of the of the gangbanger's cousin, which of course Cliff Curtis did a good job of playing the lead 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 gangbanger in that in that film. 
Washington. And an excellent small role for, for Macy Gray and as Sandman's wife and then when she and talking about talking about one bit epic bit of action when they when she calls all those crips to the jump the the jump to, to jump Harrison Harrison Hoyt and then they and then of course Denzel just fights him off holding the old characters all fights him off holding holding those nineteen elevens crookedly at all. All like, you know, like for a highly trained trained lawman, he shoots like a member of the A team. And of course Ava Mendez as as his old lady. Man, she did a good job in that film. Come on. Talking about one underrated actress right there. And then the then then you get the final showdown. Showdown between Hoyt and Harris and and the ultimate ad lib one liner of King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Right before Hoyt pulls the pulls the pulls the Forrest Gump shot and shoots him in the shoots shoots him in the ass. Oof. I gotta say, good movie, good good cast, good soundtrack. I mean, every time I hear Still Dre, they always think picture that black Monte Carlo just. Just, just rolling through to, through L.A. I'm talking about a good-looking car, and that was. And oh, kind of was surprised that surprised they didn't lose like a for a fall. Good, you know, they had like a good chase scene with that with that with that weapon. Especially with his old star skin hutch light on there, just chasing like a like a dealer or something. That or a little more developed on that scene with a when he's picking up that college student and going for the hood and buying buying weed in the hood and all. And then Harris Blacksmith's Hoyt and trying to be dirty with a offering him that that PCP lace vape. And oof. Talk about talk about dirty cop that dirty cop or one I consider the anti Andy on that one. And of course for a dirty cop that gets her come up, it's like with Scott Glenn's character, Roger, who was also a retired dirty cop. Dirty cop who actually got got his comeuppance, but Auto screwed over by by Alonzo from being a because they're both dirty and all, and of course dirty cops got to tear up their loose ends or tie up their loose ends and all. And there was actually even a, an alternate scene which was just a just a longer take on one that should have been personal acting should have been the original ending where it was where it should have shown like. Alonzo put up more of a fight, but fight was eventually getting his comeuppance. But overall, training day, five out of five. Enjoy, people.